what we're going to use, these are just like uh, wooden rings. Uh, they, they come for curtains. Love it. Yeah, so okay. super cheap. We always like that. Uh, Where you can buy them by dollar bulk. store, Bed Bath and Beyond. Where yeah, you get well, online? You can, on, I would say online. Yeah, you, okay. you should probably just get them online. Uh, but they'll have them at craft stores, fabric stores, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, Home Depot. They'll right. they'll be everywhere. Okay. Now that's what we don't want. We won't, don't want people to sit at the table and like, oh, I saw these in a Home Depot. So we're trying to like stylize them and sort of camouflage them right. and make their our, our own. So dip dyeing is like really, really big right now. Okay. You'll see it all over. Um, so it's on trend, which is always good. Totally. What you're going to need is you need, yeah, you need uh, your rings. Here I have just like water-based uh, paint. This is like, you can use craft paint, you can use paint. I, this is like leftover from our walls. Okay. You don't have, need to think about too much. Wood skewers. Okay. And what you want for where you're putting the paint, we're going to be dipping them halfway through. So make sure you have room to do that. Right. And you don't ha use a huge bowl because you'll be wasting a lot of paint. You want okay. something small and deep. And then we're going to be drying them here. I'll show you okay. how. So this is what we're trying to think of. We're thinking about like uh, a factory, right? Okay. We're just going to be doing it. Assembly getting, line style. Assembly line, yeah. Okay. So I'll do one. You can do the next. Okay. We take it. We're going to dip it in sort of smush it around. You can, if it's not, uh, if it's a little bit shallow, all right, it's going to drip. That's okay. okay. And what are we looking for? To cover half uh, or it's up uh, to you? I would say half because mm -hmm. these are pretty small. So if you do any less, it's going to look like it was by mistake. Right. We don't uh, want that. This was yeah. all on purpose. It's intentional. Yes. All right. So it's going to drip a little. You can sort of get it out. Okay. I'm going to put the skewer through. We can catch that here and then just sort of hang it in here. So practical. I'm like, where are we going to dry these? Yeah, so you want somewhere where you can catch the paint. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're going to reuse this, you can always just lay some, like, a bag inside. Mm -hmm. And then when you hang the next one, you're going to hold one of them so they don't move around too much. But when the paint is still wet, it's really okay. Here, I'm going to pick that up for you. Thank when the you. paint is, is wet, it's okay if they touch each other, too. They're not going to ruin each other yet. It's when they get tacky. Okay. Uh, that they start sticking to each other. So you just okay. want enough room. Beautiful. Yeah, and then you can like just make them, you know, you finish up really fast. Yeah. So let's just show the finished product. And there you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Great. On it. I love it. I love like having the two-tone facing so you can kind of see both going on. Yeah. It's a beautiful addition to the table.